Dubai was the backdrop as the 2015 European Tour season drew to a typically exciting end at the DP World Tour Championship. Rory McIlroy's third race to Dubai win in four years was the main storyline from the week. But the new European Tour chief executive, Keith Pelley, was also in the headlines as he revealed his vision for the future of the Tour. Well, I think that uh, we're going to change our, our philosophy so that it's a player's first philosophy. At the end of the day, yes, we're in the golf business, but really golf is just the platform. We're in the content entertainment business. And our players, which are our recipe for success, are the pseudo actors. They're the, the ones creating the theater. They're the ones creating the content. So everything we do will be with a player's first philosophy. The 51-year-old Canadian took up his role in August, and after meeting with the likes of Rory McIlroy and Ian Poulter, he's already addressed a number of issues, beginning with reshaping the European Tour's end-of-season final series. BMW decided that they didn't want to have a, a, a tournament in, uh, in China for, the, for the, uh, the short term. So in response, we've been able to bring Ned Bank to the table and our, our, our friends in the Sunshine Tour in South Africa have been wonderful. So uh, Ned Bank will, uh, will bring the, a tournament in South Africa as part of the final series. Uh, so we will have uh, uh, Turkey and uh, Dubai and South Africa and it certainly uh, speaks volumes of how quick we were able to bring a final series event at a seven million prize purse to the table. That showcases, again, how critical and how important European Tour are to global sponsors. Another issue high on Pelly's to-do list was to simplify the membership requirements for players in order to keep the continent's top stars competing on the European Tour. Well, it's really status quo when you, when you think about it when you go from 13 to five, because you're really taking out uh, the WGCs, which are four, and the four majors, which included in the, in the past. But what it really does is it helps that player who's just fallen out of the top 50. They're totally entrenched in the US. They want to play both tours. Now they can just play five events here and, uh, and their events in the US and maintain their memberships on both. From the team from England, Danny Willett. The changes are expected to help the latest crop of talented emerging players and those in future maintain their membership of their home tour. No question, our focus is on the young players now and, and, and creating a viable alternative to the PGA Tour for our elite, medium and low ranked players. And, and that means we're going to have to write, raise the prize purses, that means we're going to have to raise the playing opportunities, and that's not going to happen overnight, that's a two and a three year plan. But if you catapult ahead three or four or five years down the road, we will be a viable alternative for all members. Pelly is keen to play a role in shaping the future of the sport as well as the European Tour, and is clear about one of golf's hottest topics. There is no question in all the meetings that I've had with the players, and even questions that I've had with, with, with staff and stakeholders, it keeps coming back to slow play. And this is something that I've talked uh, extensively about with the RNA and Martin Slumbers, and he feels the same way. So we're gonna take a leadership role in this. We are going to find a way to deal with this problem straight on. Keith Pelley's first five months in the job have been challenging, and not without some unwanted headlines. But his fresh approach seems to be helping the European Tour at a time of transition. And perhaps most importantly, the players are on side with his vision of the future. Well, every day I get more energized, because every day the opportunity becomes clearer to me. Uh, and, and to have the athletes behind you and wanting to actually build something makes it a lot easier, to be honest. So you can't build it and it can't happen overnight, but with a proper three-year plan and with a proper three-year execution plan, then we can build something very, very special.